Today, folks, uh, in an earlier video, I showed you how I made the uh, spacers for the ladder line out of these uh, ten pegs. Just cut them down a little bit. Then I wanted to uh, make a portable antenna like that that I could take somewhere. So how do you do that? Well, instead of using solid wire, I figured I'd use stranded wire because it would roll up easier on a roll. The way these are fastened, so much of the spreader will stick out past where the wire is. And if you're trying to reel it up on a roll, it could get uh, entangled because each part of that is sticking out past the end of the wire. I was fortunate enough that uh, Jim via one wire, thank you very much Jim, gave me some Teflon and uh, I sawed it down and made strips out of it. Before you cut it off to length, drill a hole and cut it off afterwards and then you're left with this little notch that uh, your wire will fit into nicely and hold it in place. Now this, just for demonstration, this is a piece of solid wire, but I just uh, went around the wire twice with the tie wrap, with the zip tie, and back around again and uh, pulled tight. And boy, that holds that pretty snug. So that's another way you can make the spreaders for the ladder line. Where I use number 14 wire, in a stranded uh, wire I have here on this portable antenna. It's uh, cut, the radials are cut for 80 meters. It's on a little spool with a handle, you can pick it up. And of course, uh, on the spool, there's a retrieval handle that once you uh, want to uh, bring it back, you can just roll it up like a big uh, fishing reel. <laughs> so it uh, makes it a lot easier to handle a, a lot of wire. So uh, with the uh, spreaders inside of the wire, not sticking out past, it works better on the reel. Plus, I think they're a better spreader in some regards than the, than the, uh, the tent pig. But uh, not everybody has access to uh, Teflon sometimes. But it was uh, great to receive it uh, as a gift. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be Teflon. It could be uh, something like a, a plastic coat hanger or... You know, there's all sorts of uh, numerous things that uh, they could use for these spreaders for the ladder line. So I've used number 14 on this particular antenna. And the one I have outside is a number 12 wire. This happens to be number 14. So therefore, the distance between the two conductors on the ladder line will change. In this case, it's 5 inches apart. It'll give you roughly about uh, 600 ohm impedance. So I cut, drill these holes at uh, 5 inches apart on the ends and then cut them off. And then of course you're left with this little notch that you can uh, fit your wire into. Thanks for watching all.